Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back from the Croatian Open 2012, the Mega Boga Series stop in Opatia. We are right in time at the final table. And uh, to my left is uh, Mr. Niki Kovac from Austria. Hello, Niki. So we're going through to a huge field of uh, 10 players right now. Uh, 10 different nations, so actually it's very nice that we have a, a very nice uh, final table here. Uh, we can see a seat one, Samuel Bernabeu, actually the winner from Madrid in, in June. It's a massive chip leader at the moment. Second in chips, the Austrian Roman Pumpernick. What are you saying, Nicky? How are the chances for Roman to take down the tournament? Yeah, I think they are quite good because he's a strong player and he's second in chips but uh, my favorite is Samuel because I played with him already in Madrid and he busted me in a big coin flip I had 10 here days queen and uh, here in Opatia I played as, as well with him and he's I think he's very good and he's the massive chip leader and he knows how to handle it right 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 uh, and he's a very aggressive player yes so if you have loads of chips it, it could be very fast because he broke down the table yes but we are we are here right now with a ace check of HP Jacobi and he's actually short stack on the table uh, he raises up to 8,000 it could be easy easy that we see the first all in in the first hand yes it could be but I think not from Casey Castle Casey with the twos and nines uh, so I think he will not have any idea. No. <laughs> the Swedish guy, Lagerstrom, is coming down also from the EPT San Remo direct to Croatia. So he played in San Remo. Oh, okay, you are before. You are right. Now we have already the first tool in. I expected. <laughs> yes. So and uh, who is in the hand? Samuel, of course. <laughs> Samuel Bernabeu. But he has uh, the pocket and she's massive chip leader. H HP have no other chance actually at this moment to, to, to move all in right now and uh, hope for the double up. So he have two overcuts at this moment. What he, what he don't know, we know of it, course. he don't know it. But so do you think if Samuel will put him all in, oh he yeah, will you call? Will, you will never get him out of this hand. Okay, are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, I think he has 18 big blinds, so it should be like this. But Samuel just called? Wow. I didn't like this. Just there's a check for HP. So if he's lucky right now, no Bernabeu fault. Yeah. So I I would prefer if Samuel put him all in because he has 18 big blinds. I think it's 800 k and Samuel has almost six or seven million. So I would put him all in and and give him the chance maybe to make a mistake and fold. Yeah. yeah. But okay, this was now cheap for him. He only lost 40k. Well, we see HP went up to 1 million. So, actually, for him, it was a good hand. He started with approximately 775,000. So, he's up to 1 million. And uh, it is the game of the low stacks, actually, that they try to take down a few chips from the bot with a previous hand like his check mm -hmm. and uh, I was a little bit surprised now that Bernabeu didn't uh, play this hand as we know him yeah because when I saw you at sevens I was sure he, he would take aggressively the 100k and put him all in this right. was what I was expected but anyway and I start with the first all in the first hand Yeah. 
here the, the opening from Kovin with 8-6 unit as first in. It's pretty standard. Pretty, and pretty and standard than the pretty standard steel, actually. Yes, of course. And if at these blinds. Uh, <laughs> Look now. <laughs> There's a bit of wound again and ace. Yeah, but he folds. Uh, I uh, think. He's uh, this, uh, yeah, eight yeah. Eight, so. and I think he he has to <coughs> to to get to get warm to this final table. And I'm sure if the sevens against Ace Jack come in one hour, he will push him all in for sure. But this is like here from Kovin the race. He has suited uh, gap connectors, and at this uh, at this stage of the blinds, it's pretty standard. If you open. Uh, if nobody finds a real good hand, you take the pot, and it's very important to take the blinds at this stage of Otherwise the tournament. Otherwise, you will get the right answer. If someone found the previous hand, you will get the right answer in a second. Of course. And uh, then you can easily fold this hand. Yeah, or if if it's a short stack, he can think of it if he if he wants to gamble. <coughs> right. We see Roman Pompanik, the Austrian one, still second in chips. He is just a little bit quiet on the table right now. I asked him before and he said uh, he will figure out the players on the final table because he played only with two of them before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's quite a new situation for him. And he has no need at the moment. So he of can course. For previous of hands. course, so yes. And don't forget that n from now on, uh, every time if somebody busts, the others get more money and not only 400 or 500 euro it, it becomes more and more we are talking of thousands so yes so it's very important at this stage that you try to steal the blinds uh, and and avoid uh, that that somebody that can that can hurt you that's actually uh, a new situation for us also Balinski raise it up to 90k but even we cannot see his hands so and this could be the next all in because Stukar is also a short stack. Yeah, I think he has Found only of six. 700, 740k or something like this. So it's less than 20 big blinds. Okay, this only this call. I personally didn't like it because he plays it for set value and he has a stack. Uh, 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 Less less than uh, twenty big blinds, so it's 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 not a good play if you call for the set. Actually, we can see only the percentages, yeah. So we cannot see the hand of Balinski, but it looks like that he plays something about Ace King Ace Jack. Yeah, but you see now on this flop, he he conti bets, and what are you doing now with your sixes? That's actually the point. The the, the problem from the beginning on, how I keep on playing this hand. And now he folds the six, approximately the winning hand. And you see now he went down to 645, so it's e almost uh, 15 big blinds. Easy for me that I will take the risk with the pocket six. Of course. To show fall in from the beginning on because the blinds are very high. And uh, <coughs> we have a new dancer here. <laughs> Paul Price is moving in <laughs> like, a, like a lap dancer. <laughs> so we, we have loads of fun in the last days here in Croatia. No. Uh, we did not have fun. We're very sick that it's uh, over. Yes, it's today. a pity. It was really very nice. But people, don't be scared. We will be back in Vienna at the end of January next year with the whole group, uh, with the, the, the guys who you can hear now at the internet to broadcast. You can see them live in Vienna. So we all will be uh, there. Are you planning again a feature table like here? Of course. Right, of course. Very nice. We keep on going with the, with the, with the TV table. And... Uh, Approximate with two different commentatory boxes uh, in two, three different languages. Wow, very nice. Now we see a steel race from a Roman Pompanik uh, with Queen 4. And some of Penopeo. On this oh, will be now uh, a yeah. very <laughs> tough hand. A yeah, but I think it hand. will be Jacobi with his stack. I think he will push all in. 
of and, course. And for Roman, he will make a little bit Hollywood. And there's one more gun. Wow. He folded, it's 10. Yes. But but this is okay because it, it, okay he's short but it was already a raise and the three and the re raise all in so you are usually crushed with your range yeah with ace ten but now Roman he will make a little bit Hollywood and and this is the good stuff if you raise with queen four offsuit you you don't have to think you know exactly if somebody pushes it's an easy fold yeah. of course he has to make Hollywood that uh, he, he cannot fold immediately because then everybody knows that he he but makes he, a steel raise uh, just. Question: yeah? Why, why he try to to rise up to 100k with queen four? Yeah, it's it's easy. As as I told before, uh, the blinds are very high. He was the f the first uh, to act, and in in reality, it, it it doesn't matter what's your hand. If it's queen four or ace nine, if he would raise with ace nine, we would say, oh yeah, it, it's 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 a good raise. But you see, if somebody pushes, you are crushed. And if you have now ace nine or queen four in this case, matter. it doesn't matter. Right. And That's it's very important to take the blinds at this stage in the tournament. That's actually the point where people maybe think this can see at home now queen four. And that's why I ask you. So, well, we have a an, an very nice situation at the moment. Balinski shoved all in and called HB Jacobi. So, it's... W oh. oh, my God. Monster against... <laughs> okay, this is... It could be the end of HP yes. at this time. I think with the percentages... Okay, now, now we got it right. Okay, zero is not really correct. But now he needs king, king. Now it's zero. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, and I think that's it. That's it. Yes. We lost our first guy. We lost HB Jacobi from Germany. But, but this hand, it's we it cannot, it's not avo avoidable. It's not about uh, HB Jacobi is covered by Mr. Balinski. And so we are down to nine players. And we stop uh, the, the TV table. Already now? Ah, because now the We're official. Coming back with the official final table of the Mega Poker Series Croatian Open in a couple of minutes. And we introduce you to the guys, and then we keep on going. Uh, we will continue in about approximately five minutes. Okay. Yeah. So, welcome to the last day of the Mega Poker Series here in Opatia. Herzlich willkommen nochmal an unsere Zuseher auch zu Hause, auch in den Livestream. Wir sind am Final Table angelangt, leider Bubble am Final Table war unser Freund Hans-Peter Jacobi, er ist leider ausgeschieden als Zehnter, hat äh, als König in Asse reingebracht, aber jetzt geht es um die Wurst, wir haben begonnen mit 284 Spielern am Tag 1, jetzt sind wir rund auf 9, der Erste bekommt 39.000 Euro und der neunte Platz bekommt immerhin 3.600 Euro. Hier sehen wir den Chip wieder, Samuel Bernabeu mit knappe 7 Millionen Chips. Und nun würde ich sagen, let the show begin, shuffle up and deal, introduction from our foreman, Sierra Sierra. So now we're going to introduce now the final table players. In C number one, chief leader from Spain with 6,730,000 in chips, Mr. Samuel Bernabeu. In seat number two from Belarus with 620,000 in chips, Mr. Dimitri Stukak. <laughs> seat number three from Russia with 2,230,000 in chips, Mr. Alexander Balinski. In seat 4, from Portugal, with 1,400,000 in chips, Senor Paulo Pereira. <laughs> in seat number 5, from Croatia, local player, with 1,480,000 in chips, Mr. Sasa Zorg.
In scene number six, from Belgium with 2,390,000 in chips, Mr. Danny Covid. In seat number seven, from Austria, with three million two hundred and ten thousand in chips, Mr. Roman Pumpany. Yeah! In seat eight, with one million eight hundred and eighty thousand chips from Slovenia, Mr. Casey Kassel. And the last player on the final table from Sweden with 1,990,000 in chips, Mr. Christian Lagerstrom. Okay, we are playing for a first prize of 39,000 in chips. Buttons will start in the seat number two, lines are 20,000, 40,000, running empty of 5,000. I wish you all the best of luck, please dealer, shut it up, Andy. Oh, previously, Nikki, we are back now introducing uh, from Girard, Sarah, the players at the final table. And the action come up now. Yes. So, very exhausted to see how going Samuel Bernabeu, the winner from the big tournament in Madrid. He won all 507 players, so he do something right. Yeah, he's, uh, so in my opinion he's really a good player. I know that Julian said yesterday in the stream that yeah he's good but not so good. Yes, maybe because Julian is used to uh, the, the EPT fields and of course in, in the EPT field he's mm, a good average player but I think on this table if he will play his aggressive style he will, he will crush it. I, I expect actually the same, so, um, but we will see. Of course. We are here. Every, everything could First in line, we are here. So, we have a guest right here, Mr. Sherrard, Sarah, the tournament director. Just a small question, we're talking about the field on the final table. What do you think? Is Samuel Bernabeu able to crush the table again, like in Madrid? Um, I think how he plays, yes. <laughs> It can be a long final table, but if Bernabeu starts to play his poker, it can be one hour. Do you fear that uh, you need to give him again a penalty, or is he very calm this time? After what's happened in Madrid, I think he changed a lot. His behavior and everything, I have to say here, he was really good with the table, with the players, and still, with a, be a better act attitude, now he's in the final table again, so it shows a lot to the rest of the players that you can be a nice guy and play a good poker. So maybe you can say something in Spain, because uh, Spanish people will watch definitely. Yes, uh, in Spain, as we have to say. Eh? <laughs> pues quiero dar las buenas tardes a todos. Espero que disfruten de la mesa final. Les invitamos otra vez para ver este gran ambiente, sobre todo en Viena, finales de enero en el Casino Montesino. Será un gran evento y espero encontrar más españoles que me hagan compañía. Muchas gracias, señor Serra. <laughs> so he answered now in German. Uh, very nice to so have a, a multi-culti language here. So and we, s we can see now the ace check by Roman Pompanik and he raises it up to 105k. It's again a dangerous spot, no? Pardon? It is again a dangerous situation because he raises up on early position. Oh yeah, but with his stack, his second in chips and ace jack, you have to raise it. Of course. The Lagerstrom really, he is thinking about. Yeah, I think he will three bet him with with seven five of suit because to call in at this stage, it makes no sense. Yeah, he raised yes. it up. And of course this comes because uh, I think all the, all the players, maybe they, they watch the live stream and, and of course they, they, they know, they have information from each, each other. And I think Roman uh, tried to steal a, a lot of times with... 
with hands like before queen four or something like this and of course if you know this then you 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 you, you start to three bet these guys because you know exactly they open with a lot of uh, with a very wide range of hands well, what do you think now what is the right answer for the moment if you show for in like a like a sub have to hold immediately Yes, of course. So even if Roman now forbets him, I think he will, because the stack sizes. If Roman now forbets him, uh, there is only there is no possibility. If uh, if Lagerstrom then pushes, then Roman is, I think, very close to call him. So, but he folded. Wow. Is this now uh, the the game? What he played right now in this hand? Is it too soft? What do you expect? Okay, listen, Alex. It's uh, it now comes this factor. What what I what I told you before. Uh, nobody wants to get out at the ninth place because you get three thousand six hundred. Of course, it's very nice, but the winner takes thirty nine k. And so at the beginning, uh, maybe Roman he he doesn't want to to get in trouble, especially with Lagerstrom because. I talked to Roman and he, he told me before that uh, Samuel, Bernabeu and Blagerstrom, th these are his uh, strongest opponents, even uh, with chips and from the skills. And of course you want to avoid them at the beginning. That's correct. Um, I only ask you this question because we have loads of people watching the live stream mm -hmm. and uh, they saw now the three bet with seven five. Yes. And uh, but it was a good explaining actually. Yeah, because because and guys don't forget we can see the cards. If you're sitting there, you don't have this information. Of course. So he have to decide in a second what to do. Of course. And yes. how to keep on playing this hand. Yes, you're right. And now for us of course it's easy to say, Oh, he should four bet because it's only 7-5 offsuit, but for sure he cannot call out of position. It would be not a good play. So Casey Castle yeah, took, took down with, the bot. Yes, yeah, with uh, king queen suited. Easy game for him. Easy game, yes. And as I t said before, it's really important at this stage of the tournament that you open and even if nobody has a hand, you take the pot. And, and if you are able to do it two or maybe three times in a round, your stack will grow, grow, grow. But of course you have to be careful because then the chip leader Samuel say, okay, stop, I'm the chip leader, I'm the table captain. And then he starts to three bet and then you have to think in every hand if you want to bust on ninth place. Bernabeu is, for me, for my feeling, he's a little bit quiet at the final That's table. That's right. <laughs> I, s I have a dif different picture in my mind from Madrid, because he really crushed the final table like hell. I remember, So he yes. took one by one out, and it takes maybe two hours, and they were down to four players, because he crushed everyone. Yes. And uh, now, now we are here back with Samuel Bernabeu. He found the Queen King. Of so he first he opens. Of course, there's no there's no thinking about. If he play, he open. Up to 100k. Sasasok now with the king ten. Yeah, yeah, it's easy fold, fold against yes. the cheap leader. We we'll see if Deniko have any idea. No. You see, Kovin even folds. And Roman Bombanik with eight. Ace check and he call. Yeah, so it's okay because he's defending his big blind, of course, against Samuel. But and there is the eight. Okay, and now now so I'm is curious how Roman will play. Is a good spot for him. So yes, he hit the top pair and he check. Yes. So he let him play. He let Bernabeu play. Because imagine if you make now a donk bet and you get raised. What what are you doing with your jack eight? There will come the race now, I expect. And here we are, yes. 325k. So continuation, but it's pretty standard, and Roman makes no check race to see if, if Samuel really has a hand. Okay, it's an easy fold for Samuel Bernabeu in this. Yeah, it should be, but not if you are Samuel. Yeah, but even at the moment he cannot beat Ace High. 
That's right. But you know, if now starts, it's a leveling. And now if he says, okay, come on, you check raise me, I'm the cheap leader. Okay, you, you know what? I will re-raise you and then then I will see if you're really strong. Easy possible. Uh, easy possible. Easy possible. Well. <laughs> and you, you see now he, he's thinking. But maybe he will let go with his hand. So. But, but Roman definitely will call him down with the top pair. So. Oh, do you think so? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. Because you know this is the problem. They know Samuel is a very aggressive player. But don't forget, he ha he can have aces, kings, queens, nines, yeah. tens, jacks, like everyone gets. Even if you play five six, yeah, even it will if be you play five six, will be a very dangerous sport. But I think this open race from Samuel, uh, Roman have already the information that we are going uh, that we are going down about ace ace queen ace jack maybe something like this. Um, but we'll see how he react now. I'm very supposed to see what what. Uh, what Samuel will do now. So, so usually, if you are in the mood and say, "Okay, you can let you you can let your hand go," and and like I said before, I think Samuel he is not he has not his temperature at the moment, but it, it will come for sure. I think the only way to get Roman out now will be if he put all in. No, but he will not. You, he, he cannot put all in with king high. Against the second cheap leader on the table. That's the problem. You know, it, maybe if, if Roman is, is the short on the short stack on the table, he say, okay, I put you all in, and if you call, I have maybe two overcards to the board. But now he would lose his half stack, and he would make Roman very strong. But you see, oh, he, okay. This we call his uh, floating him in position. Yeah. And the two, so no, uh, completely blank for, yes. for Bernabeu. And uh, Roman still with the top pair. Of course, and, and I think Roman. I, this could be a, a huge spot now. We're up to 915 already. Roman Kay. has to bet again. But but this uh, this floating was typical for Samuel that he is calling with nothing. He is in position and he wants to see what happens on the turn. And if now Roman would check to him, I'm sure he will try to take the pot and bet. But now Roman shows that he's strong. Uh, he can f he, he need to fold the queen yeah, king now, now. Now he should fold it, of course. Even once more, he cannot beat ace high, so he need to give also Roman some hand. Yeah, of course, and because he check raised him, and now he's betting again on the turn. So the line of Roman is strong. And don't forget, because you said uh, Samuel, maybe he has five six to the straight, but Roman can has the straight as and well. And look, well played, Roman, well played. We all oh. believe in Roman. We have some bets on him. What, what did he show? The jack or the eight? Ah, uh, he showed both. Okay, this may this you see. I I think this is very very bad to show your hands because you give information for the player and uh, later in the tournament. Uh, it can be a big problem because now everybody knows. Okay, if Roman he gets top pair with kick a jack, he check raises and he's betting on the turn. But may he change his uh, his strategy now. Shows a weekend, and but the next time they will run in into a monster, possible. O of course, it's it's everything possible. But anyway, I didn't like if the player they show their hands because you give information for free. So, uh, short information, we have four minutes left in this level, and then we have the next blind race. And for Dimitri Stukach from Belarus, the air is... the air, what he breathed, is very thin at the yes, moment. Yes, of course, because now uh, the next level will, will be 25k and uh, 50k, and he has around 600k, so we have only 12 big blinds, so... So if he cannot find a spot in the in the next couple of minutes, it's becoming dangerous. It's for him. becoming very dangerous. You know, if you get down and you have less uh, and, and you don't have a lot of big blinds, then uh, you lost your fold equity. If you push, they, yeah. they call you very light. 
because they know exactly if you're a good player that your range uh, with uh, of pushing hands is is very very big and so they they call you. Paulo Barrera, he opened with a Tuesdays. Well, and yeah, it's pretty standard. Standard. He took down the blinds and, and the see, Nobody has a hand. They they are they fold. They say okay. I wait for this. That I'm the I'm the one who first opens. <coughs> Dimitri is already a little bit. Uh, for me, he looks a little bit nervous. I think he ex he know exactly if he cannot find the right spot in the next. Uh, let me say half an hour, forty five minutes. Um, he will finish on place nine. Yes, but anyway, you kn there are examples. If he doubles up once, he has twenty four big blinds. Then maybe it gets a nice setup for him, and then he has 50 big blinds. So, oh, we have too many players with too much chips on the table. So this is an easy call for them. The 600k is an easy call. It's true for Bernabeu, for Pombalik, okay, uh, now and you for all the others. So, okay, now I'm curious. I said to you, he need find the right spot. Already, he have it. He found the kings. Okay. So um, there's no there's no game to play for you, Dimitri. But he now makes the min race and uh, he's inducing uh, that somebody finds, I don't know, let's say... But Nicky, at, at, is the at, this, at this point, is yes. this not very dangerous what he do? Of, of course, it's it's dangerous but, uh, be, be, uh, because maybe now he gets a call from Ace Deuce or something and then comes the Ace and he has to think, okay, do you have the Ace or not? But on the other hand, if he now pushes... A look here, <coughs> we have the ace by yes. Lagerstrom, and he's playing out of the big blind. Yeah. So he will pay this race. No, no, I, I think he will He will push him. Because he sees he has only... T now he's checking his stack, and he will see he has 12 big blinds, and he cannot call. He's playing, and he has a no his hand is not made. He has ace high, and he calls, and what happens if he misses his hand? He checks, and then... He has to fold the continuation, but so I'm quite sure if he plays his hand, he will push. And then exactly happens what I told you. Uh, Stukach is making a min race to induce a push yeah. from, a, from, f from, a from any hand. But if he pushes directly all in, he's taking all the hands like ace-10 or something away. So he just calls. He just calls. And wow. you know, I expect the call. If he loses the hand, he don't make him strong. And now, now it happens, the ace is here. Yeah, but like we said before, if someone have an idea with ace 5, ace 3, he will eat okay. call the mini race. Yeah, so but, uh, but you know, now you see, I think uh, uh, Lagerstrom lost, lo lost chips and value in this hand, because if, if he pushes this 12, he gets al always the call. But I think it will come up now. No, I don't. Do you think that... He bet the 90,000. And do you think that he will go broke on ace high board with kings? He call him down. Ah, okay, so, ah, okay, Lagerstrom checked and, and okay, he makes the continuation bet. Okay, I, I thought that Lagerstrom was, was betting. No, no, no. He let him play and call him down. He exactly know that... Uh, yeah, but... But Lagerstrom know that he have the winning hand in this, in this. T till now, he know that he have the winning hand. Of course. And uh, and even now he checks behind. He knows, yeah. <coughs> yeah, he checks one more time, and of course with the kings he checks behind. He folded the kings. Immediately he folded the kings. Yeah, because he saw that Lagerstrom has the ace. Yeah. But you see, if Lagerstrom was pushing preflop, he get all the chips, and he has he has a stack before the hand. I mean, we, we don't know exactly what, what he was thinking, but I, I my my meaning was just call him down with ace ten because ace ten is just not this strong hand. Yeah, if you hit the ace, yeah, you can easy play. If you don't hit the ace, you just gave Stukak the mini, the minimum what he can get. Yeah, but what what are you doing if you don't hit? You check. You check and if you bet, you fold. It is to do. I, I mean, you don't have any other opportunities okay. on this board. Okay, I, I would prefer here if I decide I play this ace 10, I, I push, 
Of course, he will not fold, probably. Preflop. So Alex had to go. Some issues. Paul is back with his favorite fish, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. So did I miss some action so far? Oh, not really, no. Just saw the Kings versus the, yeah, the Ace-10. Was, yeah, this was the first hand, yeah. Okay. And Roman, he took a pot from Samuel. I, I've seen that yeah. outside, but I had no idea what Roman had. Roman had uh, Jack-8. Jack-8 versus... And versus what? King Queen. Oh, okay, so Panabeo just had uh, King High. Yes. Okay. He took it down on the river or on the, f or on the turn? On, on the turn. On the turn, okay. Roman check raises and on the turn he bets again and Samuel folded. Okay. Now Kovin, King check suited. We call this hand a, a, a Jens Knossaler. Oh, it's a Jens Knossala. It's a Jens Knossala, JK. Uh, Jens Knossala, ah, okay. yeah, Jens yeah. Knossala. Okay. yeah. I got it, I got it. Of diamonds. Oh, okay. Roman. You know, I, uh, me and Julian Harold have a last longer between. I, I bet on 100 on on Roman, and uh, Julian has a Lagerstrom okay. for last longer. Okay. And I gave Julian uh, one to three odds on Roman shipping the event, and Rome, uh, if Roman ships it, I get a 50 euro, and if Lagerstrom ships the event, I get I have to give Julian 150 euro. Okay, but only if <laughs> only only if uh, only if one of those ships it, but the last longer, uh, I'm gonna I have to win the last longer at least. If I win the last longer, I, I free roll on the other one, so. Okay. Oh, so no. Bonabeer, oh, okay, okay yeah, now yeah, yeah. now the clash of the titans. Wow, he folded. it. Oh, oh yeah, it got it got it, it got free by re Oh it was yeah. raised re-raise, okay. I missed the re-raise of Roman. So And the re-raise came from Roman, he's second in chips, so So yeah, Bernabeu does not actually want to play like a six million pot against against <laughs> against Roman. I would love like an uh, like the flop ace a six and then a king on the turn <laughs> to <laughs> for, for my man. <laughs> so What do you think? Normally he can't call like like a, a hand worse than King Jack is like bottom of the range of Roman in this in this spot. In my opinion, yeah, no, you know it was a po <coughs> we can think it's a position race. Oh, he calls. We we see the chips going in the middle there. Okay. So no check, no I check, I no check, really like no check, no check, no diamonds, no check, no diamonds. Oh. Okay, yeah, good, good one. <laughs> ah, the first card I've seen was the check. I was like, what? <laughs> the door card was, <laughs> the, door card was the, check. the check. So, Roman, like, top air, gut shot. Like, the gut shot would make a split pot. In, in, it makes a split right. in that case, but... What do you think of Jacobin yeah, checks? Continuation bet from Roma? Like, it's, isn't that, like, kind of a scary board for free bet call? Uh, for four bad call out of position uh, of course, uh, for f uh, even for ace king like he has just like one pair there are so many two pair uh whole card hands in the range of of coven yeah, or of course but like ace ace queen ace jack you have to you, you have to contibet it And I think Kovin. What is the stack size of Kovin? Can we? Can, does, can I? Oh, I see here. So he's 1.9 million in the beginning of the hand, or right now? Right now he has 1.9 million. So they're pretty deep, both of them. Kovin started the hand with about 2.3k. Yeah. So we see already more than a million in the pot. I'm I'm cheering for my man to ship this one for What sure. Do you think will Kovin call it or? I don't know. I I don't I, I don't I don't. Maybe he maybe he he he, he check raises. <laughs> like I think Roman has to fold so many hands if he if if he gets a decision. Like if 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 Kovin shoves there for like 1.9 million in total. Like I, I, I see no reason in in, in, in raising Roman in this spot. Okay, like, you would shove or fold? Uh, sh shove or fold. Okay. This is, looks like a race. Yeah, it's a race. Now Roman has the decision. I, I, I don't know. What would you, would you, what would you do? Wow. So, <laughs> like, would you, would you? 
Yeah. Like so I, I, I liked, I, I like the play because now Roman has to make a decision. But like, I think like the the the, the small rear race looks like. What, what does he do if Roman just flat calls here, top pair, top kicker, gut shot? Mm -hmm. Like he has to give up on the turn. In in my case, uh, in my opinion, yeah, and looks uh, okay. I thought Roman is gonna sho shove it yeah, all in. Yeah, <laughs> it, looked like, it looked like it looked like. Yeah, I'm all in. But so, like for us, it's always easy. We see the whole cards. That's a that's a whole that's a whole different situation for us in here. Uh, but uh, but you're right. In his in the, in this range, there are a lot of two pairs. <laughs> uh, it looks like he's folding. No, no, I, I don't think that he will fold. I would love so much to walk out there and show him, show him, show him. <laughs> him. <laughs> make prom. me proud, my man. <laughs> <laughs> like I just talked to his wife outside. She's like, she's so nervous at all. She's like walking around, texting to some people about Roman is doing. So I know this he thing. takes his time here. Now he folds. Wow, and he shows. Oh. Oh. No, this I don't like. Wow. I don't like the show at all. Like, it, there's, there's no like, it, no problem in folding. Yeah. Like, like we said in the beginning, there's so many two pair hands in his range. The Roman could like easily drawing that as well. Yeah, but to show is the worst thing what he can do because now everybody knows. Uh. Okay, but but Roman only invested like three hundred thousand in the spot in total, uh, or something like that, four hundred thousand. More so he, because he was three betting and Conti betting. He was three betting 300k and then he C bets another. So he lost like 600k in this spot. Oh, my 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 side bet man is just coming in. Mr. Julian. Mr. Julian. Oh, my team member from Heineken. Oh, it's too early. It's too early for Heineken right now. It's never too early for Julian. Just told us it's never too early for Heineken. So Julian is going to join us. Come up the next level maybe. Okay, so in like, like in one hour and ten minutes we will have a break, uh, and then Julian is coming in here giving us some some insight for Julian. Sit down. I have just one short question to you. Uh, like we just had we just had a hand. Um, Kovin raised out of position. King Jack of Diamonds. Uh, Julian, uh, uh, Julian, Roman uh, free bets him pre flop with ace king offsuit to 375k. Uh, the Coven called, the flop came ace queen jack. Coven check, Julian, uh, uh, Roman, Roman bets uh, f about 400k. Got a check raise to 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 f to f 800k okay. and he tanked like for three minutes and then he open folded the hand so he showed everybody that he folded ace king like wow. stack size uh, was two million uh coven had two million behind yeah you can easily have uh, two pair uh, yeah but do you like the, the do you like the showing your opponent that you're folding no, ace I, king I there show the hand but maybe i check behind with ace king on this flop so i Nobody's able to check raise me. The pot is big enough anyway, and then if he checks again, I bet uh, turn and river. Maybe that's a better line, but you can bet out, and but then you have to fold to a check raise if you check raise. Okay. Because normally you only have a gut shot then, and maybe the king is out if the other guy has two pair already, which is very possible for ace queen ace check. Yeah, that's what that's what Nikki and me were oh, talking king, about. Uh, pocket checks or king ten yeah. suited something. Yeah. Everything beats you. And uh, here he has a pair and a gut shot, but uh, most of the time he still just has your beat. Okay, thanks okay, a lot. See you later. See you later.